Hey guys, Coach Alex here from Fast Fitness Tips. Well, on the day that Chris Froome seems to have pulled it out of the bag on the Giro d'Italia and gone from mid-pack right to the front, probably in pink, in one ride, in one ride with his 80 or 90 kilometer breakaway, Shimano seems to have done the exact same thing with their mountain bike group set, the XTR M9100. Now I'll go on record right now and I think that this is the world's best mechanical group set that you can buy right now. And it's not because of one feature, it's because this group set is packed with innovations from top to bottom. I'm just astounded by how much they've brought to market on one day. It's quite unbelievable. Now of course the headline, the headline is, yes, one by 12 speed, Shimano bringing finally one by 12 to the table, just like SRAM has done for what, a couple of years now with SRAM Eagle, yeah? So you might say, well, what's new there? Well, just on that one by 12, they're already <laughs> gazumping SRAM, okay, a bit tongue in cheek here, but they're gazumping SRAM with the 10 to 51 tooth cassette. In addition, if you want 11 speed, you can have it because it's not just one by 12, it's one by 11 and minimal modifications are necessary. This might seem odd, but the one by 11 just removes the big ring from the cassette and you just tweak your shifter with an Allen key and hey presto, you've got the one by 11. If you want one by 11, you know, if you want to save a little bit of weight. You've also got two headline cassettes, 10 to 51, 10 to 45. And you've also got a two by system as well as one by. You've got a dual crank system as well, a conventional crank with two rings. And that works in a really clever way in its own because the inner ring actually clamps on to the outer ring without having its own spider. In fact, the crank set itself doesn't have a separate spider. It's an aluminium bonded crank set, which is designed to be super low weight. And I'll tell you the headline right now, that crank set comes in at 498 grams in the one by, which is lower than most road crank sets. That's really unbelievable. And they've clearly looked at the weights and the materials very carefully because the crank set itself is made of bonded aluminium. And the cassette, whoa, that's really space age. It's got steel, then titanium, then aluminium. They've said those three materials together get you the most optimum cassette, which is quite unbelievable. Now let's talk about the cassette a bit more. That monster cassette is actually Hyperglide Plus, meaning that it's ramped in both directions. The teeth help you go up and down at the same time, especially under load. And the little 10 tooth ring which is you know, necessary for the one by where your chain ring is of modest size, let's say 38 tooth, your 10 tooth ring clamps on to the outer 12 tooth ring. So it doesn't need to bond onto the free hub splines directly, which is pretty clever. Let's talk about the chain guys. Obviously the chain is 12 speed and the 12 speed chain itself maintains a really low weight of 242 grams, which according to the Fast Fitness Tips database, it's one of the lightest chains on the market right now. They've redesigned the mechanics of the chain with inner plates that rise up and clamp on to your narrow wide chain ring in a way that both gives higher efficiency and a smoother, quieter ride. But they've maintained the 52 millimeter chain line in relation to the axle 142 or boost axle 148. And regarding the dimensions, if you look at the cranks, the Q factor is also pretty good at 162 or with the 2 by system 168, which means that the system is necessarily efficient from an aerodynamic point of view. And if you want a heads up on Q factor and stance width, we've got a whole video on that on Patreon right now. What about the rear derailleur? The rear derailleur is really the heart of the system. It's also coming in at a superb 237 grams. Now they've taken a leaf out of Ceramic Speed's book and reduced the pulley tension, which can be a problem on one by derailleurs for sure. You don't want chain jump, chain slap, or any other problems with a chain coming off your pulleys, obviously. But lower tension does mean lower noise and lower friction. And talking of lower friction, they've gone with 13 teeth in the jockey wheel pulleys, which means that you've got a slower wheel rotation and less steep articulation of the chain, which means more watts saved. As we demonstrate, 
with our fast fitness tips drivetrain calculator. In fact, if you plug all of the dimensions from this Shimano system into our calculator, I work out that you're talking about roughly 10 watts loss in your drivetrain, which is probably the best, most efficient drivetrain you could get on a mountain bike right now. Given that a road bike drivetrain of six to seven watts is considered extremely low. On the shifters, yes, they have done some tweaking of the shifters, and they're saying that the effort is reduced by about 35%, and shifting is also quicker, up about 20%. And regarding the brakes, they've kept the low weight in the two-piston version, 204 grams. But if you do want the enduro four-piston version, which is completely new, that's not too bad, 277 grams. They've upgraded the pedals as well. You've got the 55 millimeter axle, but you can also go for a narrow, you want to go for a narrower stance width, you can go for a 52 millimeter axle if you want. Now I've talked about most things there, but I haven't talked about the hubs. Now let's talk about the positives. You've got the boost and non-boost axle widths. You've also got 28 and 32 drillings, but you've got what well, a new thing to Shimano, which is your straight pull spoke flanges, as well as your J-bend spoke flanges. So that could be an advantage. You've also got this micro spline on the free hub, which means 32 deep rectangular splines, which give more strength, yet enables them to build it out of aluminium. But the big headline, in my view, and I'm referring you here to our video on the next big thing in cycling, the story of the new free hubs, is they're launching the silence free hub system, which is based on not pause, but a star ratchet system, similar, very similar to DT Swiss, which completely disengages whilst coasting, which means it's silent while you're coasting and basically friction free, at least from that part of the bike. Unfortunately, guys, here's the bad news. They haven't stuck to an open standard like the SRAM XD standard. They could have used the SRAM XD standard. Of course, Shimano wanted to go his own way. So there's no problem with that, but this is not a completely open system as yet. And they haven't launched any built wheels. So hang on a second. We've got a whole new drivetrain, a whole new group set, but no wheels. Yeah, that seems to be the system right now. Now they have announced a partnership with DT Swiss and that's great. So something's going to happen. But it remains to be seen whether this is a problem that isn't fixed or whether they come up with a solution which is really making their standard open or even better making it compatible which is pretty much impossible with SRAM XD. Of course there's more bad news here that because they've changed so many things because the let's say technical innovation in this group set is so large pretty much nothing is compatible with any previous iteration so whatever you're using right now even the last generation you know, the M9000 is pretty much incompatible. Pretty much the only thing you could probably use is the cable wires from your shifters. The final bit of bad news is that it's expensive and there's no electronic version. Now for sure, if any manufacturer comes to market with this level of advancement in the mechanical group set, you know there's going to be an electronic version following on in 6 or 12 months time. So I've got no doubt that will come. The way I think about this group set, guys, is that it's basically a showpiece for what Shimano can do. For sure, they've played a few games here with Tram with that 51 tooth massive ring on the back of the cassette. But the headlines with their weight, with their drivetrain efficiency are spectacular. The use of materials in that crank set, the bonded aluminium, the triple material in the cassette, the low weights throughout the whole system the efficiency in that rear derailleur, the efficiency in the free hub, you know, all those are amazing innovations and they're available right now. They're available right now. <laughs> it's just this problem with the, with the hubs and with the wheels. The may, well, let's be honest, is a sticking point. But I'll, go, but I'll say it again, I think this is the world's most spectacular, most innovative bicycle group set on the market right now. And I'm pretty much blown away by their innovation bringing all these things to market today. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. As always, we appreciate your support, either by liking or sharing these videos, or joining us on Patreon, or just simply giving me your comments and feedback. Nearly all of them are welcome. All right guys, have a great ride. Take care, till next time.